Hey, here at Greenbrier West with volleyball coach Joe Robertson and uh, Joe, your first year as a head coach. Uh, what do you what do you see from these girls so far? Well, we have um, a lot of good talent. We have very good athletes. We have um, four starters coming back from last year. Three of them were on the All-State team last year. Two, two second team, one honorable mention. Um, we have a couple other girls that are going to be new to the starting lineup that's really going to help us a lot, really good athletes. Um, we've got good hitters. We've got a four-year returning starter setter that runs the offense pretty well. I think we have two of the best outside hitters around. Um, especially our side of school. So, yeah, I think we're going to be pretty good. Well, let's um, start with the All-Staters you've got coming. Back. Okay. Those girls and uh, just talk about their games. Okay, well, Katie O'Dell was second-team All-State at outside hitter. Um, Katie's about 6'1", super athlete, um, real aggressive. She's four, She's going to be a four-year starter. Uh, she plays all the way around pretty much for us. And great athlete and passes the ball well, serves well, does everything really well and really helps us on offense hitting the ball. Well, she's had family that played here too, right? Yes, her uh, older sister, Kenzie, was a, played for us for four years. Of course, her brothers played basketball here. They were twins. They played basketball here about five years ago or so. Yeah, yeah I think everybody remembers the Odell twins. Right, they yeah. They were, that's Now you know why Katie's six one because, you know, she comes right. from a tall family. Um, so she's, she's really going to help us all the way around. Uh, the other four-year starter is Riley Robertson, my daughter. She's a four-year starter at Setter. She was second team All-State last year. Pardon? Those are the two I want to Okay. To you. Yep. Yep. She, um, she's a four-year starter. Um, you know, she runs the offense really well. I think last year she really grew as a player last year, matured at running the offense, not just setting the ball, but actually, you know, directing traffic and stuff out there. So she'll help us a lot there. Um, sorry, it's a loud there. I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of goof offs over there, apparently. Um, then uh, the other All-State is Presley Treadway. She's a junior, three-year starter. She was honorable mention last year. She's mother outside hitter, also a super athlete. You know, she plays basketball and softball. She stood out in both those sports also. She can do anything. She'll play all the way around. Really helps us on offense. Her and Katie opposite each other is a great match for us to have them opposite each other. And one of them's always up there hitting the ball. Um, um, your daughter played, uh, you had another daughter I think that played, right? She, uh, my older daughter, Kelsey Robson, she played at Shady in um, 2013. She graduated. She was actually a four-year starter at Shady um, back then. Um, she didn't play anywhere after that. She went on to med school, and now she's a doctor. So, <laughs> so well, I mean, it worked out pretty well for her. Yeah, it definitely um, did. Um, what about these the new people coming on? I mean, this is a team that's been to six straight state tournaments. Uh, you were telling me earlier. Right, six, saw them down six there times in a row. Yep. Um, yeah, we uh, we have Abigail Thomas playing middle for us. She started on an off last year. She'll be full time starter this year. Uh, hustles as well as anyone on the court. Just just gives you 100 percent effort all the time. Um, the other middle we have is Ava Price. She's a sophomore. She's a little more raw because she's younger. Um, super athlete, can jump really well. She's going to help us. She's going to get more comfortable by the end of the season, and I think she'll be really good at blocking. She's, we've had a couple of early scrimmage games this summer, flex day scrimmages, and she's really blocked the blocked it and well there. So she's going to help us. Um, we have, uh, of course, Megan um, Griffith is our libero. She started last year at libero. Played defensive specialist year before that as a freshman. She's going to be great back there. She does a good job at calling out plays and, and directing traffic on the back row. Um, Paige Dean will probably play right side for us. She's a new player for us that hasn't played the her first couple years of high school. She hadn't played since middle school. She's a junior, but she came out this year and she's really going to help us. She's she's doing extremely well to not play for a couple years. We have a couple other seniors, uh, Kenzie Wingrove and Lindsey Boone that will play some defensive specialists for us, serve for us. They're gonna help us some on the back row. And um, then we got a couple other younger girls that'll play, you know, come in spot, play some for us. Um, it's no uh, secret that you guys have struggled, with, had great seasons and struggled down at Charleston. I mean, yep. it, it happens to a lot of teams. It does. To the big stage. But what what can you do to get past that, um, that, that kind of well, curse at the Civic Center. Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a mental thing. I think it's confidence. You know, we I keep telling these girls we have the physical ability, we have the athletes, we just have to have a little bit more mental toughness. Um, you know, like I was just I was I've told people several times it's it's not 
the best team down there is who plays the best in that situation. You know, the best team's not always the team that plays best right. in states. And it's a, you know, it's a tough environment, I think, if you're not used to it. We had a couple girls last year with some experience that, you know, handled it okay, but it's, it's just, and it's not just us, you see other teams do it. You know, a couple of things go wrong and stuff that during regular season they can handle, but in that situation, they start falling apart and then it just snowballs and, and kind of builds on itself. And then it's hard to stop it. Why will these girls be different, you think? Well, like I say, I've got two four-year starter seniors that are, you know, they were kind of team leaders. I've got a couple others that have started for a few years. Um, we're playing really tough schedule this year. We're going to Ravenswood for a tournament. We're going to Buffalo. We're playing in the Green Bar East tournament that's going to have all kinds of good double and triple A teams there. So we're going to see really tough competition. So I think that will help us, you know, with the confidence issues. And no, and I, I told these girls the other day, I really think we can play with any team in the state. Now there's some teams that are, you know, going to be bigger and better than us and, and play and beat us, but I think we can play with anybody and look like we belong out there. But how do you how do you survive with your brother, younger brother, being the AD? <laughs> it's I mean, actually, honestly, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually a pretty good relationship. We have a good relationship. Uh -huh. um, you know, he's, he's kind of went through me the last couple of years of questions and stuff as I was assistant coach just because we talk all the time anyway. I mean, you know, and he has a good interest in the team anyway. He's, he's great for this school. He puts so much effort into this school and the sports. And then his niece is playing on this team too, so that's a little added um, interest for him. Um, he's been great supporting us, you know, and I know I can call him or text him anytime and get an answer from him pretty quick. Did you ever, you, you were a three sport guy down here, um, yep. football, basketball, right. and you said track, didn't know whether you any baseball in. How did you, uh, did you ever think you'd be a volleyball coach or did you just get that interest from your no, daughter? No, not your really. Older daughter My older daughter, you know, we, we lived in Shady Spring area at the time. She, um, she played at Daniels Elementary and she was always really tall. Um, she's about five seven when she came out of elementary school, which is about the height she is now. But she loved volleyball and went to Shady Middle School. And you know, of course, Shady has a great program over there. And then she started doing travel ball in ninth grade. And I just kind of fell in love with the game. I hadn't been really been around it much till then. Um, you know, softball might still be my favorite girls' sport overall, but volleyball is great too. I love it. That's what my younger daughter loves. That's her passion. So here, here I am. Okay. <laughs> here okay. I am. Okay, I appreciate the time. Okay. Good luck to see you. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it.